I am Chioma Amari Bulam. This is Social Media Buzz. And today on the show, um, starting with the first story, students of University of Benin and Bruce Ali University, AAU Ekuma, Edo State Polytechnic Osen took to the major roads and streets yesterday to protest the lingering acid strike which has lasted for more than two months. The students expressed their frustrations as their days as undergraduates are being prolonged and neither the government or us who cared about how uh, their decisions affect the students. Some of the tweets goes as follows. Uh, Jesse Berry says, at the end of every strike action, lecturers get paid, government officials get paid, no one pays Nigerian students for the time wasted. Four years cost don't turn six years. Hashtag end as strike now. Olajide also says, no, be only time wasted. What about house rents and uh, co-wasting? Sports food, commercial people in school, who pays them? Bale also says they should take their protest to FG. The school can only do a little bit here. FG has forgotten ASU and they have faced 2023 elections. Nigeria is broke, but billions are expensed weekly for logistics. Kelsen also says the protest is not against the school. There is something known as agenda setting, which ideally should be the function of the media. But since the media is more, is more concerned with 2023 than ASU strike, protests can shift the attention back to it while increasing pressure on government. I don't know, Samson and Amobolani, I think this ASU strike is... It, it, is it, it has become... Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a recurring motif um, within the narrative of schooling yeah, I think in, in Nigeria. Yeah, in 2020, rather, they had like nine, nine months, months, nine months yes. long strike during the COVID-19 COVID, yeah. pandemic. It's, it's, it's too much. Hmm. It's too much. And I don't know, I don't think the government is actually doing enough. No, to me. everything, they're all doing, eyes are now on the 2023 election. election. Mm -hmm. So there is no talk about what the students are facing, what the university lecturers are saying, because some of these requirements mm. do not even demand money. money. Mm. And yet we see some of these state governors mm -hmm. paying, paying 100, 100 million, million naira for nomination forms. And these people, these students, are the ones bearing the brunt of it. Remember Most the of them? The federal government spending, um, planning to spend 4.4 trillion on subsidy. Subsidy. While ASU is saying, just give us one million and uh, one trillion. Two billion. Was it two? Uh, the, two they were even billion? asking for one trillion mm. out of it, or 500 billion, to mm. address some of these, you know, um, issues. Mm. Again, it just shows you that it's misplaced priorities mm. at this time from the federal government. Mm. If um, the federal government is saying we do not have funds, as the Minister of Labor and Employment has said repeatedly, meanwhile, he has also purchased the hundred million. The hundred million. I mean. It's, it's no not longer funny. It's, it's ridiculous. These, these students are wasting time at home. It's ridiculous. And these are the people that will still get into the labor market to search for jobs. Jobs. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we know what the unemployment rate is at mm. this time in the country. I think um, what the University of um, Benin, Epoma students, Ambrose Ali, and the Polytechnic students have done is quite commendable. We probably need more students to do yeah, this en masse schools, across yeah. the nation mm. for their voices to be, be heard. heard. Mm. It's a discourse. And if um, the other side are uh, saying they can't be heard, yeah, they can't hear you, then you need to be vociferous in mm. trying to pass the message across. Mm. Having said that, I think it's quite commendable what they've done. You also need other students across the nation to do the same. When you have some sort of NSAS protest feel, that kind of, you know, gathering across the nation, there's no way the federal government will say they can't hear you at this time. Because well, we it, needs to, it, it needs to be brought to, you know, We hope to that it will get their attention. Yeah. Because I hope so. We've seen ASU, ASU is on strike as we uh -huh. speak. We've seen several protests. S have well, they yielded results? Have they yielded results? Yes. But we know how um, impactful the NSAS protest was. Mm. You know, within the few days but it to was... But get the protest as massive and as impactful as, as that, NSAS protest... It, it will take a while, but we all need to mobilize. And that's why I said students across everywhere need to do that. Mm -hmm. In Edo State, they've done a very good job. Um, other um, student unions also need to pick the same thing mm -hmm. from different states. And probably that would have, you know, the attention. The okay. I hope I hope this ASU strike is mm -hmm. called off as soon as possible and now moving on to the next story nigerians who moved overseas in search of greener pastures have been sharing their ordeal on twitter about how they have had to do some really strenuous and physically draining jobs just to meet ends meet chiamaka says um, majority have had their fair share the first job i got was at peacock warehouse i stood for 11 hours straight with that useless safety boots that felt <laughs> like i was carrying the burden of the world on my feet that was the first and last day I did warehouse job. Rebirth Enlightenment also says, I can relate so well to your story. 
It's the same in Netherlands. When I arrived here, I went to do warehouse work because there was no other job at that time because of the lockdown. I did it four times and I promised myself I'm never coming back here at all. But you will make mad money though. Fesco also says uh, I worked at Atlantic Shrimpers. Workers there repeating me. I reach house for evening the vomit. Wow. <laughs> Okay, Odein says um, you need to come to Japan to really understand what hustle really means. OBB is a book binding company. The last time I worked there, I promised God I won't come back. I almost died. <laughs> but the pay was a motivator. Eight hours work is more than 45,000 naira. And then we have someone per else. Day. Yeah, per day, yeah. Per day, per day, just for eight hours. And we have someone else saying, now contrary to all you're saying, he's mm. saying, and um, Bon Red is saying, the funny thing I have, the funny thing is I have a side hustle in Nigeria. Here that pays me 60k for two hours work and no lifting of anything heavy, just talking. You don't need to jack back to make good papers, you know. It's been a trend now. So many people just want to mm -hmm. go abroad because mm -hmm. they feel like that place is greener, you mm -hmm. know, they will make more money there. But what I've heard about how they live over there, I've heard some people working in morgues, you know, doing some really scary, <laughs> jobs. tiring jobs. <laughs> I don't know. I feel it's just. Um, the grass is right now where you, where you are. Mm, but is it really worth it? I don't you know, know. You know. You know. One thing about this whole talks about Japan mm. is <laughs> the fact that there are tough jobs in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There are tough jobs abroad. Okay. But which pays? That's what okay, I think. That's pays the focus. More. Mm -hmm. Yes. Abroad, you can work. You know, to your teeth, and you're tired. You're exerting enough force, and mm. all of that, mm. but you get paid mm. duly for the service rendered. Okay. But in Nigeria, a lot of people do a lot of hard labor. labor. You work so hard, mm. and then you don't get, or you, you get, get something below okay. the minimum wage. wage. Mm -hmm. But we have someone here saying that he earns and that, yes, sixty thousand for the, just to There's a twenty exactly. percent. Mm -hmm. There's a twenty percent that okay. is doing the affiliate marketing, that mm. is doing okay. the, the online <laughs> jobs, the that are doing all now, those yes. little little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, stuff that bring in the cool cash but how many percent of nigerians are going through are going the hard through people and mm -hmm. earning chicken change uh, again people should understand that you are relocating you're changing environment change of job what have you and you know what's obtainable here is not obtainable there it's a different climb so you do not expect that once you get there you know your first week you now get a, a bank job or what have you sometimes you need to start from somewhere just to at least you know leave mm, up but, then but how maybe within start a month for 11 hours at a stretch i think that's too well that's again th that that could be extreme yeah. again it's you would also want to bring into question was it irregular migration or irregular migration because mm. those who go you know through the proper means mm. and have probably their um, residence permit and what have you can actually work at certain places you know, those who go through stone visa, they, they are work, um, you know, areas are restricted. Mm. Those who go through the irregular means, they, they are the ones who tend to hide, oh, the mm. police are coming. So they're the ones who probably do the menial jobs. So that's not to say those who um, travel properly do not also have to go through that period. Mm. But what you also le um, learn from those who travel is that you just have to do that for a short time before you now get your dream job. Mm. So before you get your dream job, to keep body and soul together, as they say, you just have to do few side hustles or menial jobs. But, but let's just emphasize the fact that the job okay. that you would break your head for in Nigeria, mm -hmm. if you do that same you job, get more. put in the same hours you get abroad, more. you get more. You that's why people but, are but, 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 but abroad, they pay more taxes, they pay for so many Exactly. Of so but so the whole, money, like whole money is getting into your pocket. But you also get, yeah. um, you know, services for your tax. Thank you. In, in terms of, uh, you know, how the, the government's yeah. um, services Value benefit you. Mm. Either social services or whatever you mm -hmm. you know infrastructure and all that those who question here the hospitals the roads roads and everything that our taxes are our not working for us so okay. all of these things are also in perspective the man who said um, Japan it gets 45,000 in 8 hours which mm -hmm. is roughly a day, day. Well, I time oh, we do the loss. maths times 30 days <laughs> <laughs> oh well let's wrap this up with a quote of the day and it is by Mark Cain saying the first step towards success is taken when you refuse to be a captive of the environment in which you first find yourself and of course I'll link that up with the uh, jackpot situation mm -hmm. of course yes while we say Nigeria is hard and a lot of people have to leave mm -hmm. a lot of people are still making, making it in Nigeria yeah. and to make it you have to just detach yourself from the environment mm -hmm. the Nigerian factor. exactly it's mm -hmm. about rising above you know your circumstances mm -hmm. either yeah. the circumstances of your birth or the circumstances you find yourself don't around don't let your background define you don't leave me don't leave me wisdom wisdom <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is where we're wrapping up today. Thank you so much for being a part of iBrand Daybreak today. My name is Omobolanli Adeshi. Until next time, bye for now.
And I am Chioma Amaribulan. Bye for now. I'm Samson Lady. Do have a wonderful day.